<laughs> Everyone knows Texas is a big state. Which means we got a lot of games here, and it's our job to find them. Hey, I'm Billy. And I'm Jay. We've known each other since the 90s. We've been gamers all our lives. And now, we're collectors. Join us on our epic quest to rescue retro games from the dustbins of obscurity. And give them a proper home. In our game rooms. Tell Ghetto at y'all's hotel. <sighs> Pretty effing Ghetto. So I, I can't wake you up by slapping it on your hip? Oh, oh, you will fucking die. You will, I will have to call moms and pops and be like, your son's dead. I will, fucking, I will kill you if you do that. I stayed at this Motel 6 one time, dude. Was it bad it was there? Like, it was okay, it's just sometimes there's shady people that, no, no pun intended, shady people that, that were up in there, dude. And like, you know how you have those connector rooms to the doors? Yeah. Dude, like, I swear to God, I was staying there and like, I woke up like at four and you just hear, oh, oh. Oh, it's not like they're making a porno in there, dude. Daryl, take your shirt off. Let's see your tracks. <laughs> Let's see them. Come on. Oh. Shave your hairy fucking you know bush nipples. What? Bush nipples. Because like as soon as they were done, you just hear a bunch of people laughing and then just talking. <laughs> like it sounded like there was a fucking camera crew in there and shit. Bitch, I got these fucking. Let's go over that way. I got these these softball shoulders. Softball. These fucking traps that are fucking. Ah. Oh. And then you just hear like you only hear one chick. And you just hear like four dudes in there. Love it without shirt. I'm thinking of something very bad to say right there. <laughs> Bussies flea market. Bussies. Bussies or Bussies. Busies. Busies. I just know there's a fucking armadillo on the front. Gary Busies. Gary Busies. That's what I always think. <laughs> Gary Busey. Busey's is a flea market right outside of San Antonio. And it's in between, actually it's kind of in between San Antonio and New Brunfield, so I really don't really head back in New Brunfield direction. Boy, what kind of <laughs> bullshit is this? It's, it's called New Brunsfold. What the fuck? He looks like a, like a busted slash. <laughs> but we don't have any choice. We're going to this Busey's flea market. We're sitting here at Busey's. We've been here for a few minutes and there are a lot of people with a lot of games here. It's actually pretty impressive. One of the best things is I don't see a lot of resellers. I don't see a lot of people overcharging things like that. Fuck. I gotta get some more money. This lady was selling a Nintendo 64 with a Star Fox in it. How much for the 64? Five. I'll take it. There you go. She didn't really have any other games, but what she did have is something else that I really like, and that's old toys. And I never knew what that Yeah, that's good. He didn't know what it was either. Hey, uh, was this Razar? I come across Razar. Or is it Toka? Oh shit, they got turtles? Yeah, they do. Freaking cool, man. I'm thinking about it. Well, Shady J undercut me on a top loader at Bussy's Flea Market. Hey, so what are you asking for your top loader? It's a uh, $60. That's the original dog bone controller, all your hookups, and it got a 30 day warranty. I'm thinking of fighting you for it. Man, I gotta ask. We take $50? I could probably do 50, dude, but without the control, I'll give you a regular square one. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wouldn't have any of it. Can I get it for 55? Can you get it for fuck you? <laughs> Eric did not like that at all. I hope you go 55. Meet me in the middle. 55 we can for the set. All right, man. Deal. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> deal on That's that. That's a good deal, though. Jade. Whips out the money. All right. And I'm like, oh, that mother. Eric said I undercut him. 
Um, I mean, we're both sitting there with our thumbs up our butts talking about, oh, well, maybe I need to get it, maybe I need to get it. I spoke first. I think Eric was a little hesitant. I did think he was kind of teeter on whether or not he wanted to spend the money in the first place. Caught you slipping, bitch. <laughs> You're officially my YouTube enemy now. <laughs> Finders keepers, Eric's a weeper. Hopefully the rest of the day will be better for me. Kind of boils my balls a little bit. We're still at Busey's. We run across this, this guy who uh, has a shop. How much are you asking for that? On that one, 20 bucks. 20? This guy knows what's up. I mean, even at flea markets, if you walk into a specialty shop who sells games and that's all they sell, guess what? They know what the stuff's worth. How much for Rescue Rangers or Ring King? This underneath Battle Toads. Ring King, I'll do, you know what, that's five and that one's five also. I'll do, I'll take both of these. The Chippendale for five dollars, that was a pretty good deal because I've seen that for like ten or more. Found Rebel Salt on the shelf. And I'm like, ask the dude, I go, hey, let me see that. And finally, just, you know, nobody was here to take it from me this time. Nobody was here to grab it with their stupid freaking meat claws. Guess what? It's the wrong game. I don't think I have them. I'm not oh, sure. sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was at that point the light bulb went off in my head and said, this weekend is a complete and utter fail for me. Leaving Busey's, you know, the guy's got a game or two. Um, overall, I'd say I'm the big winner so far this morning. Top loader, $55, and a Nintendo 64 and Star Fox. I still beat your price though, so don't matter. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. No, there's... And Busey's, I walked away with a whole whopping handful of Ninja Turtle figure. <laughs> Is that all you left with? Are you kidding me? That's not all you left with. <laughs> A Ninja Turtle figure? It really is. <laughs> you find the deals or you get dealt with. You can actually exit this 37 towards uh, Johnson City. Johnson, Johnson City. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that the people there are very testy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they can be dicks. <laughs> they, can be quite, they can be cocky at times. <laughs> Hey, but Eric is going to take us to a relatively new shop that he's been to a few times inside the Highway 90 flea market. Highway 90. This is going to be the place where I find something. Who am I kidding? I'm not finding anything here either. So we walk into this shop and we're looking around for about 32 seconds and one of the guys behind the counter says, yeah, I recognize you guys from, from YouTube. So that was pretty neat. It's really cool to run into people like that and, and, and know that they're fans and that they watch. So how, I mean, how did you come across it? Well, I actually saw it as a, so one of like the popular guys, cause I'm barely getting into the game as well. Was it like, Gangster 81? Yeah, he favored it. And I think that's actually giving you guys a lot of hits. How random is that really? At this point in the trip, I had to buy a game, any game, and I saw Streets of Rage 2 on the Sega Genesis, complete box with manual. I had to get it. It was $10, reasonable. You know, I have one and three, so I needed two anyway, so I got it. $10. I shorted the guy a dollar, though. I was like, I gave him $9. I was like, it's 10 Bought me a Qbert there for five bucks. I don't have Qbert yet. Actually, I've never played Qbert. That game sucked. After we left this shop, Eric took us to a couple more places inside this flea market and it was pretty much a bust. We're done with game hunting in San Antonio and I'm glad one, honestly, I'm glad one of us got something out of it. Um, well, two of us if you want to count Eric, but who wants to do that? Uh, so we're heading on out of uh, this uh, flea market here and we're going to downtown San Antonio. The video game gods shined down on Jay the whole weekend and I got smited. What are you going to do? What can you do other than to make Jay dress up as Tigger and make an ass of himself? I'm 
unfortunately that backfired. Not one female or anybody even acknowledged Shady J's existence until he put on that Tigger outfit. Beforehand, he was just some hairy, weird looking wolf man, son of a bitch. But as soon as he put on the Tigger outfit, he had bitches left and right coming after him. Like they were like squirrels just trying to get a nut. Like literally. We think we're gonna make this guy look like a complete and utter jerk. But unfortunately, he became a chick magnet. A freaking Tigger outfit, are you kidding me? Why didn't I know about this when I was 19? For some reason, we ended up downtown for over two hours of him just walking around like Tigger. Billy and Eric were green with envy. It was pretty freaking ridiculous. Apparently, they don't like when Jake gets all the attention. That's just the way game hunting go. All right, dude, so this is where we drop you off, man. It is cool hanging yeah. out. Good times. Yeah. Fuck dude, you for awesome. getting the top loader, you <laughs> son of a bitch. And the fucking hose. AB Derek was a really cool dude. Check out his YouTube channel. Really enjoyed uh, hanging out with the dude. I think the victor in the end, even though I don't want to admit it, Jay had a good a good day. He had the top loader for 55, that son of a bitch. And then he ended up stealing the show with his Tigger outfit. Damn sluts. Cause I'm a peel. Overall, San Antonio, in my opinion, was a winning trip. Some of us just won more than others. <laughs> Gary Busey. I swear to God, Billy, you better fucking not <laughs> knock it off. You son of a bitch. Is that still rolling? Yeah.